I found 13 websites that will pay you daily and you can make up to $50 an hour with some of them. And my team and I did a ton of research for this video over 100 hours of work and we wanted to find the absolute best opportunities and also some that you have never heard of before. So I can almost guarantee you that you've never heard of number one on the list, for instance. So if you appreciate all that hard work, go ahead and gently tap that like button for the YouTube algorithm. And let's jump into it with number one on the list, which is going to be virtualbabysittersclub.com. Now, I know it probably doesn't sound good, but this is one of the most clever business ideas I've heard of in a long time. So basically what you're doing here is you're going to be e-babysitting kids, right? So kids will be in a room or something like that, and you will be on the screen and you will be kind of talking to them, telling them to stop doing things if they're doing bad stuff, entertaining them in many cases, answering their questions, and just making sure they're safe and happy. And they also offer childcare services with different types of activities. For instance, you could be a magician or a balloon artist or a juggler or a kid's comedian. You can also do virtual art projects with them. And if you don't know, raising kids can be incredibly stressful. A lot of the time you don't get any sleep. A lot of the time you don't get any free time. And so if you understand how business works, business is all about solving painful problems, right? So it's an extremely painful problem that this company is solving. And the parents can maybe go in the other room, get a nap, or maybe have some alone time. <clears throat> if you know what I mean. And they don't have to worry as much, at least, about the kids burning the house down. And this company was created during the pandemic when parents were working from home, or at least trying to work from home, while simultaneously making sure that their kids don't go crazy and also drive them crazy. So yeah, I think this is an awesome business idea. And from all the information I've gathered online from people giving testimonials, they make around nine to $27 per hour. So yeah, really good one, easy to get started. Obviously, you have to be someone who's good with kids, but this is one where it's should be relatively easy to get stable work and you could even potentially earn a full-time income online. I'm going to give this one an 8.5 out of 10 opportunity score. Next is going to be Handy. So basically Handy.com connects people who need household services like cleaning, repairs, and installations with professionals that can do those things. Now you might be thinking, well, I'm not a professional, so I can't do that. Well, they offer all kinds of different tasks, right? They offer home cleaning, furniture assembly, TV mounting, wall hanging, bathroom Room remodeling, kitchen remodeling, major renovations. They also offer office cleaning, vacation rental cleaning, home theater AV setup hiding TV wires, sound bar installation, TV installation, TV wall mount installation, furniture assembly, bed assembly, office furniture assembly, desk assembly, grill assembly, dresser assembly, outdoor furniture assembly, exercise equipment assembly, right? So all of those are relatively easy to do. You don't have to be like a professional to do those things. You could just watch some YouTube videos, do it once, and then you know how to do it. And then they offer some services that you do have to be a little bit better at, right? So they offer plumbing services, Services. They offer electrical services, painting, they offer window treatments, and then they offer a few services where you don't necessarily have to be a professional. So they offer moving and smart home setup. With the moving, you'd probably need to have a truck or something like that. And with the smart home setup, you would have to kind of be good with technology. So yeah, they offer a ton of different services. And I can tell you moving, for instance, you can make a ton of money doing that. Now, they're not very open about how much they pay on the website, but according to testimonials and reviews online, cleaners earn about 14 to $16 per hour and handymen generally earn about 18 to 20 dollars per hour but there's some jobs such as mover that can earn up to 40 dollars an hour so if you're okay with doing a little bit of work getting your hands dirty this could be a great opportunity for you i'm going to give this one a 9 out of 10 opportunity score next is a very interesting website and that's going to be ejury and this is an online platform where participants will review legal cases and provide feedback to attorneys that will help them prepare for the trial. Because why gossip about your friends when you can judge strangers for cash legally? So it's kind of like being a juror in your pajamas minus all of the courthouse drama. Now, by the way, just gonna mention here really quickly, there's a bunch of websites that do this. eJury is one of the choices. So there's also onlineverdict.com, there's jurytest.net, there's signupdirect.com, there's resolution research, there's jurysignup.com, there's trialjurors.com and there's jurysolutions.com. And all of them have different payment methods. Some of them will pay you via PayPal. Some of them, it's a check. And they also pay differently per hour. In some cases, they don't pay you per hour. Do they just pay you per case? But usually it ends up being between 12 and $25 an hour. So yeah, this is a legitimate way of making money. It's also relatively interesting because you get to hear different court cases and kind of just understand how the legal system works. So it's not gonna just bore you to death like taking online surveys 
always does. Plus you can actually legitimately make some extra money. All right, so next I'm gonna go over four different websites that kind of do the same thing, but I'm also gonna explain the differences between them as well. So I'm gonna go over freelancer.com, fiverr.com, upwork.com, and guru.com. So these are all basically freelancing websites. Freelancing is basically where you go out there and you offer your services as a contractor. So it would typically be a short duration of offering a service. Sometimes it might be as short as just a few hours. Sometimes it might be as long as a few months. And in rare cases, it may actually end up turning into a long-term partnership. Now, fiverr.com tends to be more on the doing services one time type of thing. So you might work with someone on a service that takes you an hour or maybe a few hours, and then you probably never work with them again. Then Upwork tends to be more for like higher tier type of jobs that in many cases might take a month or several months. And Guru and Freelancer are somewhere in between. They kind of do a little bit of both. So I honestly think freelancing is awesome. There's a ton of opportunity, but I just see people making the same mistakes over and over again. And basically the biggest mistake that I see is people don't niche down enough, right? So they offer a service and they're kind of just like, hey, I do everything, you know, I'll just do anything you want. And any business owner that sees that knows this person can't possibly be an expert on everything. And so what you want to do instead is do one very specific thing. So for instance, you could be a funnel expert that sets up landing pages and does the copywriting for clickfunnels.com right? I've seen people who make hundreds of thousands of dollars a year doing this, but it's because it's extremely niche. If they said like, oh, I can help with all different types of digital marketing. I could do your SEO and do the email and I can make content for you and I can run paid ads for you. Nobody would buy their services. And if they did buy their services, they wouldn't have a good experience because you can't possibly be an expert on all of those things. But what you can do is be an expert on one very specific thing. And you can actually get to that expert level relatively quickly. And you can see people on Upwork are making a ton of money. So for instance, Sashin here is a customer experience design strategist and she charges $120 an hour, right? And it's because she's doing something very specific that she can charge that much. So basically you wanna find something you're either good at, something you're very really passionate about, or something that just pays a lot, or preferably something that falls into all three of those categories. And then only do that thing. Don't do anything else, only do that thing when you're a freelancer, right? And that that's how you can make a ton of money. So yeah, freelancing is awesome, um, especially if you're doing something that you enjoy, something that you're good at, you're gonna be able to build your skills, but it's kind of like entrepreneurship with training wheels. So yeah, I'm gonna give this one a 9.5 out of 10 opportunity score. And by the way, one super valuable skill that you can learn is basically anything related to tech sales. And tech sales is basically B2B sales between technology companies. And the entry level role you'd go into is business development representative. And this is basically where where you collect leads, right? So you would be emailing people, reaching out to people, maybe taking incoming calls or incoming emails as well. And then you'd be passing them on to the salesperson if they're qualified. And the crazy thing is you can make up to $70,000 a year plus bonuses in your first year doing tech sales. And I've interviewed a bunch of people on this channel that have been able to get into it and do exactly that. And if you're interested, there is a free training on how you can get into tech sales, which I'll put down in the description, as well as the pinned comment below. It's offered by the the company course careers. All right, so for the next one, I'm actually going to combine two different companies, and that's going to be Etsy and Printful. And Etsy is basically a marketplace where you can advertise different physical products. And typically, these are kind of original physical products. So you're not just, you know, selling stuff on Amazon that you source from China, at least you're not supposed to. So they're supposed to emphasize creativity and originality. And then Printful is a hosting platform that will actually do all the fulfillment for you. So when you combine those two things together, you basically have the marketing and the fulfillment taken care of, which means literally all you have to do is just design the product. So that's pretty cool, right? And realistically speaking, you're probably going to have to do a little marketing at the beginning, but in some cases it will actually just take off and they'll advertise it for you. And there's this crazy article about this girl who started an Etsy business with a hundred dollars or so uh, because a fortune cookie told her to, and she became a millionaire overnight because her product went viral. Right? And now her company is worth $12 million. Now, is that 
typical? Of course not. That is not typical, but it just shows you what is possible. And she made her money by selling printables. So these are basically digital art that you design and create one time, and then you don't actually have to print any of it until someone buys. So that's kind of the secret to how all of this works. You don't actually have to invest in inventory and pay for storage and pay for the physical products until someone actually buys it. So that saves you a ton of money when it comes to inventory, storage, shipping, etc. And it's all taken care of by Etsy and Printful. So yeah, I think print on demand is a huge opportunity right now. It's going to be even bigger in the future. I think once they start doing print on demand for 3D printed items, I think it's going to be like a trillion dollar industry. It's going to be insane. So I'm actually really excited about this industry. The more I look into it, the more opportunity I see. And I still think it's in its infancy at this point. So yeah, uh, really cool one. I'm going to give it an eight out of 10 opportunity score. All right. So next is going to be a YouTube educational channel, just like the one you're watching right now. So this one, of course, I'm biased, but I think it's probably the absolute best opportunity out there. You see super smart people like billionaires with the all in podcast creating YouTube content. You see super smart business owners who are making like $50 million a year, shut their businesses down, stop doing paid ads and go all in on creating content such as YouTube, like Alex Hormozzi. And there is a reason for that. It's because YouTube is the biggest opportunity right now. Creating a personal brand is without a doubt the biggest opportunity, right? So do you understand how little time billionaires have? Like they're insanely busy running their businesses. They have a million things that they could be doing and them taking their time to create content tells you everything that you need to know about this being the biggest opportunity. And what I really emphasize here is stop listening to what people are telling you to do and start paying attention to what they are doing, right? So all these different channels telling you to, you know, oh, make money trading in the stock market or make money investing or make money doing this, make money doing Airbnb, make money doing Amazon FBA. What are they actually doing? They're making money by making content, okay? <laughs> so start paying attention to what people are doing, right? Making content right now is the biggest opportunity and YouTube is the King Kong number one platform for making content, establishing a brand, and building authority. And on top of that, it's the number one platform for, very importantly, making money. This channel makes over six figures a month. I've also helped a bunch of other people get to the six figure a month level. And it's really not that hard to do if you pick the right niche. By the way, if you're interested in coaching, I do offer limited slots for coaching and consultation. I'm very picky about who I work with because I only work with people who are really serious about getting success on YouTube, but you can check that out down in the description as well as the pinned comment below. But yeah, YouTube is ridiculous. There's so much money on YouTube. There's people that are making a hundred million plus dollars a year on YouTube. There's tiny educational channels that only have a few thousand subscribers that are making hundreds of thousands of dollars a month. So YouTube is absolutely awesome. This one I'm going to give a 10 out of 10 opportunity score. All right. So next one on the list is going to be a very simple one. And that is looking at stuff. And this would be with a website like wegolook.com. And basically what you do is you look at different stuff from companies and then you give them feedback on it. So this could be anything from inspecting interior or exterior designs or looking for hazardous parts of a house or inspecting damaged cars, etc. So you basically just look at stuff, document it and give your feedback on it. Now, you're probably not going to make a full time income with this because there's not going to be enough gigs. Maybe you live in an area where there is enough gigs for that. But there are testimonials from people online saying they're making like a thousand dollars a month, for instance, and they're typically making over $20 an hour. So this can be a decent one, relatively easy to get into. I'll give it a seven out of 10 opportunity score. Next one is going to be Udemy. And this is a really cool website that I like a lot. And basically what you'd be doing is you'd be creating an online course. Now there's so many different things that you could create an online course about. So for instance, whenever I hire new people, a lot of the time I will actually just look up their role on Udemy and then buy a bunch of those courses and train them using that, right? So it's really easy way for me to train people, just buy the courses on Udemy and then just give them access to those courses and then train them. And guess what? There's someone on the other side who created that course that's making a ton of money from it. And you can do this with many different things. It's not just career related stuff. It's also make money online stuff. And it's also completely unrelated to making money at all in many cases. And here's an example of someone who published their first course on Udemy and made over a thousand dollars in their first six months. And the cool thing is it's completely automated. 
automated, right? It was just one course, they made it one time, and every single month they make a couple hundred dollars from it. Imagine if you created 10 courses, 20 courses, 30 courses, you would start making the passive income that everyone talks about. So yeah, really good stuff. I think there's a ton of opportunity with Udemy. Think about stuff that's very easy for you in any job that you do, or maybe something you've done since you were a kid. Maybe you're really good at an instrument, for instance. So it's just really easy for you, and it'd be easy for you to teach someone this. And then think about making a course about it. Now, I will admit this is one where, you know, you're not going to make money right away. It takes a lot of time to start making a significant amount of money, but your income ceiling is going to be much higher. So this is a long-term play. And so for that reason, I can't give it such a high score because, you know, it's not something where you can actually just like make money daily. You can withdraw the money anytime you want once you've made it, but it's not something where you can start making money like right now. And so for that reason, I'll give it an eight out of 10 opportunity score. Next on the list is going to be text broker. And there are many different websites out there that do this, but basically what you're going to be doing is getting paid to write. Now, a lot of the time you're going to be writing articles, maybe SEO optimized blogs, and that's basically search engine optimized blogs. So they're basically search engine friendly. So it's easy for the Google search engine to kind of categorize it. And also things like YouTube scripts. And the key here is again, to make sure that you niche down, right? I hate to sound like a broken record here, but it's really that important. If you just say, I can write anything about anything, what you're really telling people is you're going to be extremely mediocre at best with any type of writing that you do. So what you wanna do instead is you want to niche down. Say, I only write YouTube scripts, and you probably wanna niche down even further than that. I only write YouTube scripts in the personal finance niche, right? And when you do something like that, that is where you can really set yourself apart and you're gonna look a lot more valuable to people who potentially want to buy your services. And then you're gonna be able to charge way more and you're going to make your customers happy because you are actually going to be an expert on the subject. So yeah, these writing websites can be pretty good to make some quick money. Um, I know a lot of people who actually do make a full-time income from doing this. It does have a ceiling because there is a maximum amount that you can write. But with that being said, if you're really good at using certain, you know, AI tools, you can't rely solely on the AI tools, but you can use them to write faster. So you can make a good amount of money, but at the end of the day, you need to make sure that your quality is high. And of course, if you just let chat GPT write everything, the quality is going to be relatively low. So yeah, these types of websites are really good. Textbroker.com is pretty good as well. I'll give this one a 7.5 out of 10 opportunity score. Next is going to be tutor.com. And this is an online platform that connects students with tutors. And you can tutor in all different subjects, math, history, science, English, chemistry, biology, etc. So basically just pick whatever subject you think that you're really good at and tutor in that subject. And they don't say exactly how much they pay on the site, but from testimonials, it averages about 10 to $24 an hour. Now, the difference between this tutoring site and other tutoring sites is other sites will oftentimes let people from outside the US be tutors. And this site is US only. And so that means you're gonna get paid a lot more because obviously the cost of living in the US is much higher than the cost of living in other countries. So yeah, this is a really good one. Um, you do need certain computer equipment to get started. You need to have like a good webcam, a good computer, but it's a really good one. I will give it an 8.5 out of 10 opportunity score. By the way, I did make another video on 10 more websites that will pay you daily. It actually went semi-viral and you can check that video out by clicking right here.